everyone, my name's Emma. Today we are talking about the book Uncomfortable Conversations with a Black Man by Emmanuel Acho. When it comes to choices and decisions, the ones that we make with more intention will help us create the world that we want to live in. So we talk about here on this channel, how can we take our power back every single day by making better choices? Emmanuel Acho is an ex-NFL player. He continues to work within the industry, but recently, back in June, he came out with this very important video that was titled Uncomfortable Conversations with a Black Man. And he felt really moved by what was happening in the world and that he needed to speak up and say something. And his video got 250,000 views within the first week. And then this entire series began. So from one decision to say, you know what, I'm speaking up about what is happening. I am deciding to say enough is enough and I want to be the change. He created this huge movement with having uncomfortable conversations and him being the leader of those conversations, the one creating a space to have them. And he made sure that there was a safe space for everyone to ask questions. And he answers questions on his channel. Of course, I'll post it down below. And can go and get his book but Oprah ended up finding his videos and wanted to help him write his first book so in November the book was released so I hope that you go and get it and you know learn a lot about your first step into learning about this it's a really good start he delved into quite a few different topics and it was enough information to learn without it being overwhelming. And that can happen to us a lot of times. We get a lot of information at once and we don't know what to do with it. So we just shut it off and ignore it completely, which is, of course, not the right way to approach things. So his book is really a good intro into learning about what has happened in this country, about what is continuing to happen. And it's a great conversation starter with people all over who whether it's on the internet or in your life, it's a great way to start this conversation that may be very difficult and is something that is difficult. And we need to acknowledge that. And we need to make understanding what is going on approachable in a way that it's not overwhelming. So I really appreciate him writing this book. I learned quite a bit and I hope that you get something out of it as well. But I really want to talk about the fact that he just felt so moved by what was happening and he was able to use the following that he had, but also he just wanted to post it. And then, you know, it went viral. People just found it and it started this conversation, many conversations. He got a call from Matthew McConaughey and he did a video with him and then Oprah and this kept growing and this movement kept growing. And then so much has already changed since he came out with that first video and so much has changed since his book has come out as well. It's been top selling and it is really quite amazing to see that it can happen very quickly when you put out into the world great value and you want to make a change and you decide to be that change you want to see. It really does inspire many people to look at what is going on, to have these conversations, to become more aware from wherever their awareness already is, to be more aware and to be more comfortable with talking about it. And of course, I wanted to be talking during this month about what is happening in the country, but there was he was one of those very influential people to say, hey, like, I want to create a safe space to talk about these conversations as well and to continue this topic being talked about consistently and not something that's just talked about, you know, one month a year or a few days of the year, but something that is continuously talked about and the knowledge is continuing to grow and more people who have done a lot of active activist work within this area have become even more known during this time because people were really interested in finding out more. So the people who were already doing this, who didn't necessarily have as much exposure at that time, were able to get it because so many people were interested in looking at it. So he sparked so many different reactions just by deciding, you know what? I'm going to talk about this because I feel that I have a perspective, I have a voice, and he created a platform for himself to talk about it. And 
whether you think that you're not this big or you're not you weren't once an athlete you don't necessarily have the power or whatever all of that are just excuses to keep us from doing the things that we want he could have come up with a million different reasons but the one reason that he wanted to and the reason that got him to do it was the only one that mattered every single other excuse didn't and you never know when you stand up for yourself or you stand up and say what you have to say to contribute it could spark a lot of different people saying and standing up and saying, you know what, this is important. We should be talking about this. It just takes one person to really stand up. And of course, he's not the first person, but he is one of many. And that's the point that there's many people talking about this, creating a knowledge about this and bringing it to the light of what has been happening for so long and, you know, really talking about it. So... I want you to go and check out his video, so I'll keep this one a bit shorter, and I want you to go and check out this book, and a lot of his videos, content does make it to the book, but there's also a great deal of content in the book that he hasn't talked about yet, and I hope that he continues to explore, and he also understands the connections between different movements, and he is really creating a space to talk about all of them together, and I really appreciate what he's done. And what we can all do and learn from that is it just takes one decision to stand up and say, you know what, I can do it too. He did it. I can do it. We can all do it. And we all have to do it. We all have to be adding and contributing in whatever way that we can. So check out his video. Check out his book. Thank you for being here. I know there's many places that you could choose to be, and I do appreciate you choosing to be here. So I hope to see you soon. But until then, I hope that you have an amazing day. Thank you.